Amazon Athena is an interactive query service to analyze data in S3. It is a serverless offering. You pay only for queries you run. Athena helps us to analyze unstructured data, semi-structured data, data which is in a columnar formats such as Apache Parquet and Apache ORC as well. Under the hood, Athena actually uses Presto to run SQL queries. Let's understand the usage of Athena to a quick lab. What we are going to do as part of this lab is we are going to query VPC flow logs from Amazon Athena interface. The prerequisites, we need access to AWS console. I am going to create two S3 buckets. One S3 bucket that actually holds VPC flow logs and second S3 bucket which actually holds Athena queries output. I'm creating two VPCs. Let's get into AWS console. I'm in the AWS console. Let me go to S3 and create a couple of buckets. The second bucket is to hold Athena query output. Now let me go to VPC section and create a couple of VPCs, subnets and a couple of EC2 instances. The VPC is created here. Let me create a couple of subnets under it. Second subnet. Now let me go to this VPC and enable the flow logs. Create flow log. I want all traffic to be written. One minute aggregation interval. Send the logs to S3 bucket. You have to give the S3 buckets ARN number. This is the bucket, just copy ARN and paste it here. Default format is fine. Just create flow logs. Let's go ahead and create one EC2 instance in this VPC under any of these two subnets. I'm changing that VPC to the VPC that I've created. So I'm just picking up the first subnet. Public IP, yes, okay. I'm fine with the storage, no tags, security group. Let it launch the instance. In the meantime, what I want to do is go ahead and create second VPC. This time I'm using CIDR range of 10.0.1.0. The previous one was 10.0.1.0. Yeah, I can enable flow logs right away for this.
you can see flow logs configuration is enabled. This is the bucket it actually goes and writes. Let's also create subnets. Two subnets got created. Now let me go ahead and deploy an EC2 instance in one of these subnets. I already have a key paid. Cool. Now let's check uh, the EC2 instances. One is running and another one is pending. Let me create uh, an internet gateway and assign it to these VPCs. So let me create another internet gateway. I'm assigning it to second VPC. So I've just generated uh, the PPK file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH and give this private key. Let's try to log in. Oh yeah, um, one more thing I forgot is I need to add that internet gateway routing uh, route table. So let me get into these VPCs. Yeah, let me go to the VPC, each one individually. And let me check the route table associated. This is a route table associated. Edit routes. Add a route. Internet gateway traffic. Save changes. Similarly, uh, the same thing for another VPC as well. Okay, now let's try to do this. You see, it's able to establish the communication. Cool, uh, let's try the other instance as well. Here we go. We are able to make a successful connection. This is enough for the prerequisite section. Now, if you go back to PPC, and the flow logs establishment is already done. You can go to this respective S3 bucket by just clicking this, or or you can you can go to S3, click on the bucket. A folder is created with the name AWS logs, account ID, folder called PPC flow logs, then the region year, month, date, and these are all the various logs it generated. By default, the VPC flow logs get generated in .gg format. Of course, you can download this gun zip. Underneath this zip file, it just has a text data. Cool, we are good with this uh, setup. Now, next step is get into Athena and try to see these information flow logs information from sql interface if you are starting athena in your region for the first time you may get this kind of interface get started first and foremost thing you have to do is whenever you run any select statement in this interface to athena it generates the result the results 
will also be stored in an S3 location. So you have to set up query result location in S3. You remember we created two buckets. Let's give the second bucket location here. Do you want results to be encrypted? That's fine. Uh, just click OK. Save. Good. By default, you are getting a data source called AWS Data Catalog, a sample database which has elastic load balancer logs. Probably you can use this as a reference. But what we are going to create is we are going to create a new database. EPCDB. Just run query. It says query is successful. In the drop down, you should be able to see your database. If you are already familiar with databases, tables, please note that Athena has no physical tables. Athena has only external tables. That means when you create a table in this database, it's external table. You only have a schema stored here. Actual data stays outside Athena. That is in S3 buckets. Let me create the external table. I will share these very syntax. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a table, not table. It's an external table. If not exists, just create this VPC flow logs. These are all the basic uh, record format. So I'm saying that it is partitioned by date. So I have to define these partitions uh, in the next syntax. Row format is delimited. Fields terminated by space. And the location of this external tables data is S3, Athena Workshop 1, AWS Logs. This is my account, VPC Flow Logs. Now, uh, what is my region? If you notice here, I'm not specifying year, month, and date. I would specify year, month, and date as part of this partition syntax. All right, let's go ahead and create the table. Query is successful. If you have a partitions, you need to load these partitions to be able to query the data. Now let's add the partitions. This is the first partition. I'm adding it with year, month, and day. Okay, let's go ahead and create. If you want, you can add another partition, such as, let's say, for the next day. So before you actually query this table, you just have to load partitions. It may be saying that partitions missing for file system. Yes, this is okay because if you look at I'm on, I'm currently only at 8.7. I've created a partition in advance for tomorrow, my next day. That's okay. Now get into this another query window and just say that select star from VPC flow logs. What it does is it goes underneath to the storage wherever this external table is pointing to and gets the data for you in this X format. If in other databases you are familiar with external table, it's a similar concept. Maybe the, the file formats it supports may be different, but under the hood, you have a skeleton in Athena, but actual data stays somewhere outside the database. Here it is getting stored in S3. You see here, you got all the data, you have interface information. Let's say select distinct interface ID. Yep, you got two interfaces. Yep, you pretty much use uh, all the SQL syntax to pull whatever the information you want. Cool. Before I conclude, 
if you want to see the table definition just say come to these three dots and just say generate a table ddl yeah this is a command to get that you can see the table definition here this is the actual location under this location you have partitions that we created here each partition actually talks about one day that is all for this lecture thank you